So it's finally here. Canadian fishing trip. It's been three years in the making. We were supposed to go in 2020, but... COVID. 2021. COVID. Almost thought we might have to miss it this year. Um, fortunately, my wife's dad is not doing well with cancer. In fact, she was supposed to come with me and uh, supposed to go together, but um, yeah, she's you know just concerned about her dad wants to hang around. We'd be out of contact. Uh, I don't think there's any cell phone reception and yeah, she just wouldn't be able to concentrate and um, enjoy the trip, so she's staying behind, but you had to get the jab in order to get to Canada. That's the only reason I got the jab. And with her blessing, I'm going solo. Wish she was coming with. We're gonna make the most of it and we're gonna enjoy the peace and quiet and solitude and disconnecting. Hopefully catch some fish. Just enjoy the peace and quiet. We're here. It's been uh, a few hours. I gotta pee. I might be able to make the liquor store in time before it closes, depending on how fast this goes through customs. But this is all going very slow. There's construction on the bridge. Sat up there forever. Closes at nine. We got 34 minutes. Let's see if we can get through. So Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Sorry to anybody that lives here feels differently. It's kind of a shithole. But I made it to the LCBO store in time and got my eggs because apparently in Canada you can't take eggs from the US. Checked in and uh, yeah, four hour drive to Northern Walleye Lodge tomorrow and we'll be good to go. Canadian whiskey. Cheers. Now we are on the way. This part of Canada is much more beautiful than uh, Sault Ste. Marie. Well, four hour drive, gonna stop in Wawa, probably get some gas, get something to eat, and get some ice at uh, Northern Walleye Lodge in about two hours and 45 minutes. Man, what a beautiful drive. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. We made it. We are at Dog Lake. Pretty breezy, but uh, 60 some degrees, sunshine and beautiful. And just gotta wait for my ride to pick me up. Hmm, I wonder what letter is missing out of that. I think I concur. Here's Dog Lake. This is when I'm assuming with the pontoon, we'll load up my stuff. And then we'll head out from here. the other guy's stuff they're in a cabin over there and uh, they forgot a net so he's taking it back to him but uh, this is the little cove for our dock pretty much got everything up at the cabin we'll check it out
So that's the view from the porch. Can't beat that. And that's our cabin for the week. So inside, got a kitchen area. Sleeping and uh, dining area. Wood stove. And then the bathroom with the shower. I'm gonna get everything all settled in and then we can go get the boat. And my eggs survived the ride. <laughs> Cabin situated. You can hand me a Labatt, a sandwich, and then we'll go get the boat. Alright, so we're all settled in. Everything's in place. Fridge just got done boiling the water. Cowboy hats on. Huh? Beds made. Charging station. They're ready to go. Let's go get the boat. So here's the main lodge. And the main dock and beach. We'll get the boat. We'll take a look at the lodge later. It's pretty sweet. So there's the boat. Got 25 horse on it. This sucker is a deep boat. Um, yeah, let it start. So drilling. Got my gear in it. It's going to be a little front up since I'm the only one, but we'll pack all my gear in the front to try to keep that down. Big finder. So I think maybe we mark some spots on our map. And we go check it out. Well, we did some exploring, we got some lures wet, and that's about it. So, this might not be like the last one where we could go out anytime. We can go out midday and just catch them. The guy said that uh, morning and evenings were the best, so might have to give that a try. I guess might not be able to sleep in this week. Well, it's 5.30. We're gonna cook up some brats. That's what we got going on. Definitely doesn't sound like it's gonna be the fishing like we had uh, at uh, the English River. Um, sounds like we gotta work for it and sounds like bait is the way to go. Um, so I bought some worms and after supper we're gonna go out. We're gonna see if we can nail some of those fish that we were marking. Um, yeah, it was pretty heavy, so we'll see what happens. Now, before we go fishing, we're going to get some firewood. So if we want to have a fire tonight or some other night, we are all set. So there we go. We got firewood. Well, I've lost two lures. I actually felt one bite. But this fishing sucks compared to English River. Well, look at there. <laughs> Should I keep it? <laughs> At least I got something. I think it's skunked. So hey, at least we didn't get skunked. We got a seven inch walleye. <laughs> but we got a beautiful sunset. And it's gorgeous out here. Day two, need some breakfast, heading out fishing, 
Barking's all, barking all kind of fish, and haven't caught anything yet. Should be a nice day. Fish on. Well, hot damn, brother. I'm eating some fish. Got me a walleye. Perfect. 17, just under 17 inches. And uh, yeah, that's gonna eat good. We're on the board. So nothing was really working and uh, I switched back to plastic. Um, ended up going with a kind of a clear blue speck shad color and I was actually just trolling with it. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do some more of that. what we have here that right there is a beauty we're just sitting here drifting letting some twister tails drag and uh, I've been marking fish suspended this must have been one of them 21 inches so towards the end of that drift uh, I actually had one hit all of a sudden my pole jumped I actually almost lost it and it was gone the lure was gone so it had to have been a pike cut the line. I just put that on too because I lost it in some rocks. But it's a much better day. So we found a beautiful spot for shore lunch. Got a nice uh, flat rock here. We can build a fire. Boat's tied up right in a little cove here. We can step right out onto either rocks. It's lunchtime. So I yeah, that some of this uh, mossy pine stuff. Hopefully that'll start. Got some racks to put the grade on. Some uh, firewood to hence she's going. And I even found a nice flat board for my fillet station. Now start playing. Two beautiful fillets. And I brought some New Orleans style fish fry, Louisiana. Haven't tried it before, but here we go. And the moss worked. A little toss of the seasoning in the bag. Oil is getting warm. We are almost ready to go. Fry, baby. We get out of that wind, it's hot. But shore lunch is served. Yes. So in Canada, you can't have an open container in the boat, um, and you can't blow more than 0.08%. But uh, so being out of the boat, sitting here having a beer um, on the shore, it's okay. Water's mid 60s, but man, it's hot. I'm sweating. I'm taking a dip. No. No. Evening number two. Try it out from the resort. Lost the lure. I don't know where those guys are fishing. There's a hump, about 14 foot. And uh, yeah, I didn't want anything to do with that because that was just a lure widow maker. So I headed back to uh, where I caught that 21 inch this morning and we're going to give it a whirl here. I tried capturing the loon sounds. Let's see if they showed up. A lot of loons out here. Got number three for the day. 15 incher. Started trolling on the way back and then picking that up so. 
Now we got two meals. We might be able to come home with our possession limit. Got to work hard for them, but they're out there. Well, day two close, comes to an end, and I caught some fish, so that was good. It's a beautiful day. Weather's going to go downhill from here, but uh, tomorrow is supposed to be rainy thunderstorms. We'll see. Might be a video editing day. So we're enjoying the campfire wood that we gathered uh, when we had our shore lunch. It's a good day. Now this morning started off sunny on day three and we got in the boat and we did some trolling. Wanted to head out towards Emily's Bay and there's some power lines over there. A bay that supposedly has weeds. Um, I stopped in one bay, had weeds and cast for pike a little bit, but we're just doing a slow drift. Dragging some lures on the bottom and see what we can get. Well, nothing this morning. We're in Emily Bay and just gonna drift here for a bit, try something different. I actually got a Daredevil Five of Diamonds drifting. See if it just flutters and see what it gets. I'm marking a lot of stuff, but they're not marking as fish. I'm not sure what they are. Well, it's raining again. Yay. So, I'm doing some editing. Might as well get ahead of it. Well, afternoon, day three, after the rain moved through, it's actually drizzling just a little bit. You can barely feel it, but um, we had a totally switcher, total switcheroo. The wind is coming from the north, northwest now. Everything up to this point has pretty much been out of the south, even easterly. Um, so hopefully that changes things, but uh, we're back in the spot where I caught the 21 inch and we're drifting some twister tails and we'll see what happens. So that just happened. First drift, Northern Pike on a white twister tail with a white head. Let's do it again. He's about uh, 28 inches. Freaking wind can't make up its mind. Last drift, I was going straight that way. And now all of a sudden I go for a new drift and I'm coming this way. Well, it's a wrap on day three. Slow day of fishing, but got a pike. Just uh, sitting on the rock, enjoying the view. Fire would just do it all again tomorrow. Good morning. Another beautiful day. Sun shining, rain's moved on. So we got a slight breeze that switched back from I think the south again. So this week didn't take too long to figure out what my tactic was gonna be and I wasn't gonna be able to anchor right over top where the fish were sitting, you know, off of drop-offs. The fish are biting really light. Pretty much my tactic has been keep the lure in the water, cover a lot of water, and go after the aggressive fish. Maybe it doesn't catch the most fish, but it sure has been the most relaxing. I've got some fish. Well, I might have figured something out. Yeah, I ended up pulling up a couple of uh, right around 14 to 15 inch walleye, boom, boom. I'm gonna head back to that spot. It was about 22 feet deep and try to do it again. And I'm starting to think it's the hat. Might be my lucky walleye hat. The only time I've caught walleye is when I've got a cowboy hat on. So don't mess with uh, what's working. 
Yeah, buddy. He nailed it. Just moved off to deeper water and boom. About a 17 incher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. I'll just keep diving right out there. Hot damn. Got another pike, about 25 inches. Yeah, buddy. I think this one's going back though. Well, man, that was a fun morning. Three walleye, a pike. I was gonna have pike for lunch, but now I think I'm gonna have some walleye and then some walleye for supper so we can catch and keep more walleye. Walleye, it's what's for lunch. Pike and walleye, it's what's for supper. Man, after having that pike, I might have to rethink keeping some of those. That was really good. Here we go. Well, we need a little replenish on the firewood. So we stopped in this little cove here and picked up, uh, picked up a few more pieces. Now it's time to fish. Not quite what we're looking for, but... found out that uh, dad's been submitted to critical care at U of M. They've uh, recommended that Wendy and mom stay the night. Mike has come up or come down as well. Thoughts and prayers with him. Looks like she made the right call and not coming. This time we'll tell. Well, this morning was a little rainy, a lot windy. Dad made it through the night fine at this point. He's still okay. Went out for a little bit. I just didn't have the energy to fight the wind and the rain and just wanted to keep in touch with Wendy in case something went bad. But uh, didn't want to hang around the cabin anymore. Um, it's still windy. Took a long time to get over here and it was rougher and shit, but um, made it. We're doing a drift. Just gonna fish for a couple hours before supper and then uh, try it again tonight, most likely. Every cabin has one of these. And it's oddly satisfying. Crunch. Well, right at the end of the drift, we got ourselves a nice walleye. We just passed over a little hump there at about 25 feet and got one. So this gives us our position limit. But we're gonna see if we can get something bigger. Maybe throw this one back or we have some lunch supper. Well, shit. Second drift, we uh, hooked into what I'm pretty sure is a pike and it felt like it was a pretty good one. You know, as I was drifting, I had tension, and uh, I'm sure the pike just turned and just cut the line just like that. But who knows how big it was, but hey, two drifts, two fish. Damn, forecast didn't call for rain, but... but this looks like it could. He's doing some really good stuff right now, too. Wow. One just did a complete shift. Whatever 
is moving in here, all of a sudden the uh, wind started coming from the north. The northwest, it was pretty much south, southwest, but it's blowing back where I just came from to start another drift. So we're going back the other way. Well, that change in wind brought a change in species. Check out that perch. <laughs> that's a next uh, nice bonus. Yeah, that's an 11 and a half inch perch. Well, an 11 and a half inch perch will complement that 14 inch walleye nicely. <laughs> the walleye itself wouldn't have even been a meal for two, but with that perch and the walleye, that makes a nice bag. We've got boar walleye that we're going to take home and uh, yeah, we've got our possession limit and had some fish in the meantime, so another campfire, another beautiful view. Last morning of fishing, it's uh, almost dead calm out, very slight breeze, but uh, just doing some straight vertical jigging and um, seeing if I can get anything. The funny thing is on the fish finder there, I can actually see my jig um, and I can see when fish are coming. Um, it's kind of like ice fishing, but uh, we'll see how long that lasts or if we can even get anything. So. Anyway, it's almost key still in the morning. Straight jigging didn't work. I did some casting retrieving, trying to bounce them along the bottom. Had some other guys fishing by me. I don't think they caught anything either, but it's a beautiful, calm, flat day. And the plan was fishing and then go exploring. There's some waterfalls way on the north side and we're gonna head over there and check those out. Whatever else we see on the way. Last day exploration. It's a cool spot for a cabin in this little cove. Got this beautiful cliff wall. And then the view of some islands. Awesome looking spot. got some more firewood for tonight if uh, I don't end up leaving. I'm gonna sit and have lunch on the shore and we'll head back and get an update and find out how dad's doing. If he's all right and I'll be on the road tomorrow morning so. Those are one and two, and there's a cabin on that island right over there. Right on schedule. Grilling the leftover burger and steak. The dog shows up. Breakfast. Anytime I'm cooking something, the dog shows up. One of the two, or both. My well, last evening. And uh, it is still dead calm, hot, and doing a little scouting, trolling here, but uh, I'm not marking any fish. I bet you still and as bright as it is, I bet you they're going to be deep. We're about 40 right now. I bet you once we get the 50 range, we'll probably start marking them because it's been dead on the graph the whole way. Normally on the humps where they're on either side of the hump, hardly marking anything. We're gonna fish long tonight. Just get one last hoorah in and then uh, turn in the boat. Get ready to leave tomorrow. And there you go. I'm not sure if you can see that, but finally starting to mark them in the 50s. 
So a little recap. Um, take it back. So I've been in Canada once before. It was Northwest Ontario. It was a 16-hour drive. Um, Ear Falls, uh, English River. I think the resort was Little Canada Camp. And first time to first time to Canada, and it was phenomenal. Um, we were catching walleye left and right, and <laughs> we were catching 20, 30 walleye a day. We thought it was great. Um, the resort owners were like, we love people like you. Right now the fishing sucks. So um, just two things I didn't like about it. Number one, it was a 16 hour drive. Number two, um, we were right kind of in town just off the dam, which the dam was great fishing, but right out from the resort, we had these huge power lines going across. So I told myself I wanted to find out. Um, is the 16 hour drive Northwest Ontario different than right straight above Michigan? Um, so my goal was uh, to find something within like nine, 10 hours, find something a little more remote with pristine views and then see how it compares. Um, so I guess at this point, uh, you know, other than doing a fly in, you know, the fact that the resort, you know, they load you up in a boat, take you, it's, it is, it's remote, it's beautiful, the views are awesome, um, A plus on that. The fishing, not even close, I guess, to what we compared to before, um, you know, and I'm, there's plenty of people that caught fish, maybe it's, maybe it's a bad week, um, but at this point, if I go to Canada again, I'll probably be driving 16 hours into Northwest Canada. Um, and then try to find something probably a little more uh, remote and pristine so I don't have to look at power lines. But um, that kind of, that's kind of how I see it. Goodbye, Dog Lake. Signing out.